there. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. So I'm really excited today to be bringing you my first anti-haul. And so you've probably seen these on YouTube. They've been around for quite a few years. They were originated by Kimberly Clark. I will link her channel either in the cards or down in the description box. She is the queen of anti-hauls and uh, this is not gonna compare to that. The, it was really started because of anti-consumerism and to really try and help Kimberly herself talk herself out of buying certain things, um, primarily makeup in those videos. And um, it exploded into a phenomenon of um, different kinds of anti hauls. They've been done for uh, they've been done for lots of different reasons. Mine is going to be kind of in the spirit of Kimberly Clark's anti hauls, and I'm going to be talking about fragrance and perfumes. Please know that this is hyperbole and it's just intended to be fun and not too serious. So. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And if you have not subscribed yet, I would encourage you to please do so. The what I'm doing is I have I have created a list of fragrances that I am interested in, but obviously I can't purchase every fragrance that I'm interested in or I wouldn't have room for all of them. I couldn't afford it. It would be ridiculous. It's just too much. So <laughs> I already have a large collection. So these are ones that really pique my interest, but I am restraining myself. So, and uh, maybe this will help you restrain yourself too, if any of these interest you. So I'm going to jump right into my list. So um, the first one I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about Ulta. I'm going to go by store because that's kind of how I shop and how most of us shop. So the first one I'm going to talk about from Ulta is from Way. It's O-U-A-I and it's actually a hair care brand and they've come up with some perfumes and I have not gotten my nose on them so I have no idea. I haven't seen any reviews or heard any reviews on the perfume line but I'm very intrigued and so um, I am not, there are $56 I think for an ounce so it's not a bad price but I don't know how I would get those except for blind buying and I'm just not comfortable blind buying those and I'm sure they're beautiful, but I I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna bite on that one, even though it's very tempting. The next one is Marc Jacobs Daisy and the flankers to Daisy, and there are many flankers. And I actually did just order Violet, which isn't from the Daisy line, but it's in one of those cute bottles. But for some reason, those Marc Daisy, Marc Jacobs Daisy bottles are really tempting to me. I just think they're so cute. And I definitely have a thing for bottles and fun bottles. I have a whole video on my favorite or classiest bottles in my collection, which I'll link up in the cards. So I definitely like cute bottles and Marc Jacobs has some very cute bottles. So, um, I, I've smelled Daisy, the original, and I wasn't that excited about it. I thought it was a little bit ordinary, in my opinion, but he keeps coming out with these flankers and flankers on flankers, and so there's a lot of one, a lot of different ones that they've come out with, and they have very cute bottles. I, I think they're just cute little pieces of artwork, but I do not need these. I don't need um, anything more collecting dust in my house, so... Um, yeah, I am not gonna be buying the Marc Jacobs Daisy and all the many flankers of that. And the next one I'm gonna talk about is one that I talked about in a previous video. I believe this was the fragrances I wanna try in 2020 and it's Chloe Nomad Absolute. And I did actually smell this one and it smells very nice. It smells very similar to the original Nomad and the original Nomad EDT. So um, I don't see a need to buy it because I have the Nomad Eau de Toilette and so um, Absolute is, is beautiful, but it's not different enough from the um, EDT that I already have, so I won't be buying that. And then the last one is another one, the last one from Ulta is another one that I talked about in a previous video, and this is Burberry Her Intense, which I think I talked about in the same video. And I did get my nose on that one too, and it's very beautiful, but I have um, Ariana Grande Cloud, which I think is fairly similar. It's similar enough where I don't feel like I need to get a big bottle of Burberry Her Intense, even though I like it. And the other thing I wanted to mention is um, just because I'm putting this out there does not mean that I'm never ever going to get these. But for right now, I'm saying no, I don't need these. Okay, way too many disclaimers. So the next one that I'm going to be talking about is from Sephora. So these are a couple Sephora um, perfumes that I've recently seen that I am interested in, but I need to restrain myself. The first one is Tom Ford Rose Prick, 
And I did smell this at Nordstrom and I thought it was beautiful. Um, I don't know what the longevity is. I've seen a few different reviews and kind of mixed reviews, I think. But um, the bottom line is I'm not going to pay $335 for 1.7 ounces of anything. I just, that just doesn't work for me. And if it works for you, that's totally fine. We can still be friends. It's totally good. But that's not my thing. So um, sorry, Tom Ford Rose Prick, but that's just not going to happen. The next one is the Killian brand. Um, I've been noticing a lot of Killian fragrances being added at Sephora recently. And I've heard really good things about Killian, but again, those are just way beyond my price range and I'm just not comfortable paying for those kind of prices. And uh, although they may be beautiful and um, wonderful and I may change my mind at some point, but for right now, Killian is anti-hauled for me, sorry. And the next one, of course, is Fragrance Net, which is where I buy most of my perfume. And um, I check Fragrance Net pretty frequently. I look at what's new. I look at new gift sets. I look at new travel sprays. Um, I do searches. I'm kind of a little obsessed with it. It's probably not very healthy, but there are some things that have been catching my interest lately. And the first one is from Zerjoff, and there's quite a few Zerjoff um, perfumes that they've been adding to Fragrance Net lately. And I've heard really good things about Zerjoff, and I would love to try the brand. I'd probably be really interested in trying like a discovery set of samples, but uh, these are pretty expensive, and I don't think I'm gonna be picking up any Zerjoff from Fragrance Net, even though it's probably a better deal than buying it any other place. But um, And then the next one I saw was from Comptoir Sud Pacifique, and it's called Eclat d'Amande or um, Almonds. And um, Comptoir Sud Pacifique, why is that hard for me to say? It's French, Comptoir Sud Pacifique, Pacific, Pacific South, South Pacific, I think is what it, South Pacific is what that translates to in French. And um, so they have really beautiful gourmand perfumes and this one sounds really nice. But I just, I, I don't need another gourmand. I've got a lot going on. I really love my collection and I have a lot of really great stuff. So I really don't need to add more to the mix. The next one's kind of in a, in a similar vein and this is from Nina Ricci and it's called Les Sorbet de Bella. And this sounds really pretty. Um, it's got some fun and fruity notes and um, I'm very tempted, but I need to hold off. And again, cute bottle, I can't resist. I can resist a cute bottle, but um, I'm gonna stay strong on this one. And so Nina Ricci's Le Sorbet de Bella is gonna have to wait. And the last one I have is from Ellen Tracy, and this is the Ellen Tracy bronze gift set. And this one is just, it appeals to my um, sense of, this is a great bargain and I think these look nice and I've heard good things about the brand and I like the notes and it's got good reviews on Fragrantica. And it's one of those things where I could just easily pick it up and not be the wiser, but I'm gonna stay strong on this one too. So that's the, the last one on my list is Ellen Tracy's Bronze and it's a gift set from Fragrance Net. So again, this is just meant to be fun and um, not very serious, just kind of lighthearted. And um, so that's my anti-haul. And I'm just curious if there's anything that you're anti-hauling or is there anything that's really piquing your interest that you wanna restrain yourself from? Put those down in the comments. I'm really interested in what kind of tempts other people. And um, yeah, so thanks again for being here today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Thanks again. Bye-bye.